Hi, this is Brian from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to unroot your Motorola Droid Razor. Now before we begin, and I'm going to reiterate this several times throughout this video, uh, not to be obnoxious, but to be very clear. If you have used a root method that differs from the rooting method that we have used and, and created a video to show you how to root your device using uh, Doom Lords script, then this video is not for you. If you've used any other script files, uh, even if it's very similar to uh, Doom Lord, if it's not Doom Lords files that uh, that you used, uh, then you do not want to run this script because it could potentially brick your device. All right, and here is the post from XDA, and this is Doom Lord's post for rooting and unrooting. Uh, this is for multiple devices, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I, I just want to reiterate again: if you did not use uh, one of these files down here, uh, doesn't matter what version. But if you didn't use uh, Doom Lord's files to root your device, then you do not want to use Doom Lord's files to unroot your device. So just keep that in mind. Down here he's got a section for unrooting, and it says want to unroot, read this. It's actually going to take you to a uh, Sony Xperia Play uh, section of the forum, and from there uh, you're going to download this unrooted, unrooting script 1.0, and this is a very small file, uh, just right down here, you'll see at the bottom, Doom Lord V1 unrooting, that is the most current one as of you know December 30th. Uh, by the time you are unrooting, maybe you're looking uh, at a different version of the file, but use whatever he's got listed as his most current uh, based on the first post. Alright, once you click on that unrooting zip file, go ahead and put it somewhere where it's not going to be in a cluttered environment, so make a new folder on your desktop. It doesn't matter where you put it, just put it somewhere where you can find it and where it's not cluttered and not going to get confused for any other files. Uh, then just right click on it and extract here and you're going to get two different files with that. You're going to get a, uh, a file folder that's actually labeled file and then you're going to get runme-unroot.bat. That's going to be the actual script file that we're going to double click once our device is hooked up to the computer. We will show you uh, what it looks like from the device's point of view, uh, but all that's going to happen when you click this is just a script dialog pops up, so not really much to see there. Now before we connect our phone to our computer via USB sync cable, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is go into our menu, so go to settings, then go down to applications, click on development, and then you want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled. Uh, allow mock uh, locations is not required, uh, but anytime I turn on debugging, I turn that on as well. Uh, so it really doesn't matter if you do or don't, but uh, definitely USB debugging must be turned on. Alright, now we've got our phone connected to our laptop via USB sync cable. And uh, you're going to want to pull down the notification panel here. Click on the USB connection and make sure that it is set up for charge only. Uh, you don't want it in PC mode or USB mass storage mode because then ADB can't properly communicate with it. So make sure it's on charge only and hit OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to double click the uh, runme-unroot.bat file that we downloaded. So we're going to double click that and it's going to tell us to press any key as soon as we've done all the things that we've shown you, which we have. So we're going to hit enter. And now it's just going to run, and the script's going to run in the uh, background on the computer. It's going to unroot your device. As you can see, it's automatically going to turn it off, and it'll reboot it. And when it comes back up, we'll show you that we no longer have root access. All right, so once the phone's rebooted, we're greeted with the normal home screen. Go ahead and open your app drawer, and scroll over, and look for the super user app icon and you'll notice that it is missing uh, so we no longer have a super user app it was removed by the script and then if we click on an app that requires root access like titanium backup it should come up with an error that says it could not acquire root privileges so your phone is now officially unrooted this is brian with the unlocker.com and hope this helped see you next time